What's up, y'all? So Ryan back here again with a pretty cool announcement today. So recently I announced that I'm now endorsed by GOC Guitars. Well, I'm now also endorsed by Aurora Tone Pickups. So I've been posting a little bit about these pickups. If you've seen over on my Instagram and TikTok, you've heard a lot from them. I've done some demo mixes and things like that with them. So these are his ultraviolet set, and this is a really cool custom, like Berlin Glow bobbin look to them. So they look pretty sick and they match this GOC pretty damn well, if I say so myself. Uh, but today I wanted to let you guys hear how they sound in a solo tone. And so we're gonna listen to it through three different really popular amp sim plugins we're going to go through archetype gojira x archetype nolly and then archetype rebea for two high gain like metal tones and then one really nice sparkling clean tone and some lead tones in between there we all know i'm not much of a lead player but let's go ahead and dive in and see what these all sound like the first one i'm going to go into is uh neural dsp's archetype gojira obviously because this is one of my favorite ones to play through now inside of Archetype Gojira X, I've got the overdrive pedal with normal settings. I don't have the tone all the way up because I didn't need the extra brightness here. If we go into the amp settings here, I do have pretty normal settings as well. The gain is turned back to about three, bass is left alone. I like to crank the mids a little bit, trebles up, masters down to get rid of some of the saturation in the power tube section. <laughs> Uh, then we have the presence up a little bit. Depth is a li like, just like a hair past noon and then my outputs turned up a little bit as well. Um, I have the cab section turned off and I am using the Parallel Lives Primary Cabs Heartless Audio impulse responses um, as I've been using them on everything. So this is what that sounds like. <laughs> All right, so they sound pretty ridiculous as that is, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and close out my cabs here. Uh, let's go ahead and listen to a lead tone. I'm not much of a lead player, y'all know that, but I just want y'all to hear how this sounds with some delay and everything like that. <laughs> Yeah, that's me playing a lead. Not great at it, obviously. Uh, but that's how these pickups sound with a little bit of delay and reverb going on the bridge pickup. Let's go ahead and see how that sounds on the neck pickup. Yeah, that's Archetype Gojira with a rhythm tone, a heavy rhythm tone, and then a lead tone. So let's go ahead and move on to Archetype Nolly, another popular one here. All right, so inside of Archetype Nolly, I'm using the exact same cabinet impulse responses, Paralleled Live's primary cabs. Uh, so the cab section inside of Nolly is turned off. Inside of the pedal section, I have the overdrive, very similar settings to Archetype Gojira X. If we go into the amp section here, I do have it on the third amp. I don't have it on the, the highest gain amp inside of here. I'm a huge fan of 5150 style amps, as you guys can probably tell. So honestly, if you check this out, everything's at mid right here. So it's all at noon. So and this is what that sounds like. <laughs> And here's what a lead tone would sound like through Archetype Nolly as well. Bridge pickup first. And the neck pickup. Again, apologies for not being much of a lead player, but I wanted you all to hear what the neck pickup would sound like as far as like having some delay and reverb, just basic effects going on it. But yeah, so that's Archetype Nolly, which sounds pretty much like y'all would expect it to. Nolly's just a great all-around plugin. You can get a lot done with this. There's so much variety in the tones that you're able to get out of Archetype Nolly. So it's always a really solid choice, to be honest with you. Uh, now, just so y'all have it for reference, um, I did have my normal EQ chain that I built for these pickups. And th this change is based on the impulse responses that I'm using. Again, I'm using the Paralleled Live's primary cabs, Heartless Audio Impulse Responses. 
And so this is what I throw at the end of the chain of every single uh, tone that I built with that, and it tends to work. So we've got a high and low pass filter on here. The high pass is at about 73 hertz, and then at 11,000 hertz is where we have the low pass filter. We do have a pretty large bump at 5100, and that's to give it that bite and air. And then I just dropped out some frequencies that I thought sounded really crazy. And then I did give it a boost at around 1380. Usually I boost more around 1500 to 1800, but something about boosting at the 1380 sounded great with both Archetype Nolly and Archetype Gojira X. So. I was pretty happy with the way those sounded, but let's go ahead and do something I don't normally do, and that is to dive into a clean tone. So this is something y'all really don't hear from me very often being a clean tone. So I'm using Archetype Rebeo for this because I just love all of the different effects and the compressors and the way that he designed this plugin to sound just ridiculous no matter what. I've done some very basic dialing in for this clean tone. So what you're going to notice is if we go over to the pedal section, I do have the compressor dialed into what I think sounds good. I'll be honest with you, I don't know much about how compressors work, so I was just twisting knobs until it sounded right to me for what I'm trying to do and for this guitar and these pickups. If we go over to the amp section here, um, I've got the volume cranked down a little bit. I've got both of these switches up. Bass is turned down a little bit. Mid is just left alone. Mid-level and treble I left alone. Cab section is off. Again, I'm using my cabinets here instead. Um, there is some EQ that was just already done inside of the plugin, but I left them as is because it sounded great as it was. And then we do have the delay and reverb activated as well. So then as for the cab, so again, using Paralleled Live's primary cabs, I'm using the Fender and the Mesa, and this is mixed kind of in favor of the Fender. Um, so it's cutting out some of the Mesa cab here. So let's go ahead and see how that sounds. <laughs> So that's the bridge pickup. Let's go ahead and take a listen to the middle position. And then the neck position. So as you can hear, these pickups are extremely dynamic, right? This is one of the reasons why I love having passive pickups like this, especially a really awesome custom set of the Ultraviolets from Cody over at Aurora Tone Pickups. They sound ridiculous pretty much no matter what I've done with them so far. I play mostly rock and metal, obviously, so I don't have the chops to maybe throw some funk or anything like that in there. I'm not a Strat player or anything like that, so I don't even have this guitar coil tap, to be honest with you. So. They sound great as it is. I'm going to install some new electronics soon so that I can coil tap them and get you guys some single coil sounds out of them because they do come with the four leads already, so they're perfectly capable of doing it. But, I mean, they sound ridiculous as it is. They look even more ridiculous. I love how these things came out and how they look inside of the guitar. And as you see, they're extremely versatile. They went through three different plugins sounding great, a bunch of different impulse responses sounding great. They have the output that I need, but they clean up extremely well. Like I'm sure you could tell from that, it's really sparkling. Even when I dig into the strings a little bit more, they're not distorting, they're not clipping. So Cody, you nailed it on these, man. They sound really, really good. But yeah, with that, let me know if you guys wanna hear any other types of tones or genres out of here. I will do my best to deliver that if I'm capable of doing it. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys want to listen to. So if y'all like what you heard here today, Cody's able to do a lot of really cool custom stuff as far as aesthetics go. So make sure to hit him up and check out all of the different videos he has on the website to see how his different pickups sound. These are the ultraviolets and I love them. These are great for everything that I play. Um, but make sure to hit him up. I will have his link down in the description and I've been tagging him a lot over on Instagram and TikTok as well. So make sure to check him out and maybe pick up a custom set from him. Thank you all for watching if you've made it this far and I'll talk to you next time.